have a question. Thank you, Captain. The Tholian Assembly appreciates your loyalty. So many ship captains threw away their lives needlessly in the days after they annexed this area of space. It'll take a few hours to offload your cargo. Feel free to grab a hot meal in the commissary. I know that comforts can be hard to come by in this sector. I recommend the Plomeek soup. It almost tastes like something. Do you need anything else? My name is Franklin Drake. I was born on a little colony world on the edge of Cardassian space. After the Federation fell to the Klingons, a lot of people moved out of the war zones to try to make new lives. It worked for a while. When the Bajorans discovered that wormhole and the Dominion invaded, no world, no matter how remote, was safe. I signed on to help fight the Dominion, for all the good that did. The Dominion swallowed the Bajorans whole, and then joined up with the Breen and the Cardassians to destroy the Klingons and the Romulans. After that, it was just a matter of carving up the Alpha Quadrant. The Tholians got this piece of space in exchange for signing a non-aggression pact with the Dominion. It wasn't hard to see that the only way to survive was to sign on. Now I'm like you. I work for the Tholians, and in exchange I get a cot and a couple of replicated meals and a chance to live for one more day. With a little luck, I'll get through tomorrow, too. Do you need anything else? Forming on me to the Tholians. But if I don't answer, you'll probably tell them I'm hiding something. Fine. My name is Deton. I was born on Romulus. After the war, I signed on to a freighter crew working the Bolian run. My captain got in trouble with the Tholians, and I ended up here. I'm a true and loyal servant of the Tholians, and I don't want any trouble. Now go away and leave me alone. I have work to do. Don't bother me. seen you around here before, Captain. Got a minute to talk? I know. I asked around about you, and I don't know if I'm supposed to be telling you this, but I need your help. You're not supposed to be here. None of us are. Not in this timeline, I mean. My ship, my crew. We were supposed to do something important. We went through an anomaly, moved through time, and everything changed. We tried to go back. I guess the battle with the Klingons disrupted the anomaly. Instead of getting back where we belong, we ended up here with the Tholians running everything. I'd never even seen a Tholian before. You have to help us set things right. You have to help us get back to our ship. Me and my crew, there are a little over a hundred of us here, scattered throughout the work camp. We're about 65 years ahead of where we should be, according to my math. We were fighting the Romulans, 
This was back in 2344, and the weapons discharges caused a temporary rift. We passed through, and because we weren't at Narendra to do what we were supposed to do, the timeline changed. We ended up in a timeline where the Federation and the Klingon Empire were at war. The Federation was losing, badly. We tried to go back to set things right. But then the Klingons found us in the Enterprise D. There's someone here with us from that timeline. Her name is Tasha. I'll take you to her. Maybe she can help explain this. We need your help. I'm from Starfleet, and if I'm right, that's a name that should ring bells with you as well. In an alternate timeline from this one, the correct one, Starfleet is still alive and well, and you're a Starfleet officer too. When the Enterprise-C moved ahead in time, it created an alternate timeline, one in which I was alive but shouldn't have been. I left with the Enterprise to set things right. We thought we were returning to the Narendra system in 2344 to defend the Klingon colony there from a Romulan attack. We ended up in this nebula in 2409. The Tholians caught us before we could try again, and you can guess the rest. We're going to try to restore the timeline, but to do so, we need the Enterprise C. It's still in the hangar here. And as soon as we get back to her, we'll find the temporal rift and get back to where and when we're supposed to be. To do that, we need your help. Franklin Drake is already helping us. He managed to get an access key used to operate the systems in the hangar control room. We need you to get the code from Drake and use it to open the doors to the hangar control room. <sighs> I'd go myself. But we've already been here a week. The Tholians know we're trying to get back to the ship. They're watching us. But you're new. They won't suspect you're involved. That's the idea, at least. Of course, it's not as simple as getting the code and opening the door. The Tholians have guards on all critical areas. You'll need to slip past the guards and get into the maintenance tunnels. From there, it's a winding maze to the hangar control room, which can only be unlocked from the inside. Once you get in, you'll be able to open the doors. We'll be waiting there to help you free the Enterprise. Here, take this communicator. It's on a scrambled frequency the Tholians don't monitor, and it'll allow me to contact you while you're on the move. Maybe you can convince someone to cause a distraction. That might make slipping past the guards into the tunnels easier. Got a minute to talk? Call me Castillo. Not a lot to tell, I guess. I'm Lieutenant J.G. Richard Castillo, helm officer of the USS Enterprise C, an unwilling time traveler. I'm normally the helm officer, but I'm senior officer now that Captain Garrett and the rest of the senior staff are gone. I've got to do what the captain would want. Get us back to where we belong and finish what we set out to do. I know this is hard to accept, but we're not supposed to be here. We need your help. My name is Tasha Yar. I was Chief Tactical Officer of the USS Enterprise D. In my timeline, we were fighting a war against the Klingons, and I was proud to do my part to protect the Federation. What I learned, though, in the correct timeline, history as it should be, I died a meaningless death. I accepted the risks when I put on the uniform, and I don't regret what happened. But if I'm going to die, I want it to mean something. That's why I chose to go back with the Enterprise C. I know this is a lot to accept, but you have to trust us.
this place isn't what it's supposed to be. My name is Neelan. I'm an Alorian. Some people would call me a wanderer. I go from place to place, listening to the universe, to the people. And then I look at you and this place, and I can't explain it, but it's wrong. All of it. You're not supposed to be here. None of us are. Something's not right here. I can't see it clearly. I just know that something is wrong. That woman over there, does she have a daughter? Someone named Sila. I know that's important, uh, but there are a lot of other things. Uh, I'm sorry, it's difficult to put into words. What I can tell you is that if someone asks for your help, give it. That will set things right. Something's not right here. You looking for something? I'm Farrick. Wheeling and Din is my gang. At least it was, until the webheads put a stop to any trade that doesn't benefit them. Still, I know how to get a few things. You were looking for bonus replicator ration? Maybe a bottle of authentic pre-war Romulan ale. If you've got something to trade, I've got what you need. Hey, I got things to do with you. Listen closely, we don't have a lot of time. You're coming out of a neural mind cloak. It was necessary to establish your cover identity with the Tholians. That identity is now being replaced by your own. My name is Noi. Like you, I'm from another time, a, a time traveler. I was a researcher on a prototype time ship when the Dominion found my homeworld. Their invasion was swift and merciless. They slaughtered millions including my wife and unborn daughter. I escaped in the Clauda, my time ship. Since then, I've been looking for a point in time where I could make a change and undo this tragedy. Yes, there's a ship being held here by the Tholians. If we can return it to its proper time, we'll undo the tyranny of the Tholians and the Dominion. We'll bring an end to decades of slavery and suffering. I'm not alone on this. Speak to Yar and Castillo. They know the truth. My projections show radical changes to the timeline. The Tholians become a minor power. The Dominion is contained, but specifics are always very difficult to see. What you should be asking yourself is, could it possibly be any worse? They've been displaced in time. They're from years in the past. They believe that returning to their past will prevent the collapse of the galactic powers that could defeat the Dominion. They seek to undo our tragic fall into servitude. Do you have a question? Take it. Here's a map, too. You'll need it in the tunnels. I'm not working with the big picture here. My records say that you're a temporal refugee from the 23rd century. Yarn and Steel were stranded out of time, too. Maybe together, you can put back something resembling the time we're living in. Do you need anything else?
What do you want? My name is Bavat. Before the Tholians conquered the Empire, I was the leader of a great house. I sat on the High Council and spoke for the Empire on more than a dozen worlds. None of that matters now. The past is nothing to a slave. I will die here in service to the Tholians, just like you will. Ask your question! for something. I'm Farrick Pay. I My name is Obersek. Once my people served the Romulans, now we have new masters. I will serve for now, because to refuse would be my death. But when the time is right, we'll rise up against our oppressors and destroy them. If you would be free, watch for an opportunity. The Tholians will show their weakness soon enough. Do not waste my time. Right in here. Why? Why would you care about me? No one cares about me. I don't even care anymore. Go away. Go away. And leave me alone. You're just asking to be polite, aren't you? I find idle chatter so tedious these days. Still, it's a way to pass the time. My name is Rugen Sky. I used to be a member of the Cardassian government until I had a conflict with a rival faction. Politics on my world can be quite cutthroat. Now I'm here. It's better than execution, but only just. The food here is terrible, and the company <laughs> is worse. Another question? Yes. My name is Tanae. And for many years, I served in Starfleet. After the war was lost, I joined a resistance movement attempting to liberate the core worlds. We failed. We were able to keep the Klingons at bay, but not the Dominion and their allies. After the Breen destroyed Earth and the Dominion occupied Beta Z, continued resistance was illogical. Against all reason, we continued our fight as our resistant cells fell, one by one. You... Yes? My name is Tanae, and for many years I served in Starfleet. After the war was lost, I joined a resistance movement attempting to liberate the core worlds. We failed. 
We were able to keep the Klingons at bay, but not the Dominion and their allies. After the Breen destroyed Earth and the Dominion occupied Beta Z, continued resistance was illogical. Against all reason, we continued our fight as our resistance cells fell, one by one. You might say I was one of the fortunate ones. I survived. I would not agree. Do you require anything else? How can I assist you? I'm Valkel Sean, captain of the Belfast. I run freight for the Tholians. Basic supplies, mostly. But once in a while, they need me to pick up dilithium from the mines on Remus. We're in dock here for a few days, getting some repairs done. Cut too close to the Konos blast zone on my last trip back, and ran into some raiders. They won't trouble anyone again. But they fused half my power conduits and fried the deflector before I managed to take them out. If there's anything else you need, let me... I will be free. How can I assist you? I don't remember the Federation, or Starfleet. The war was almost over before I was born. This is the only life I know. One of servitude, deprivation, loss. I want something better. That freedom my parents and grandparents told me about. I want the Federation back. I'll help. Just tell me what you need. This food isn't fit for dogs!
All major systems are still operational. Good. We need to work together. What do you want me to do? I was a helm officer in the Enterprise before everything went to hell. But I'm really handy with heavy machinery, like those clamps holding the ship. I know I could take care of those and get us free. If you need me to do something else, maybe I can work on that web shield. It will need to come down. Before we can fly out of here. Or the ship's power. I know every inch of the old girl. If I can figure out the Tholian in an interface, I might be able to connect to the ship and restore the power remotely. We need to work together. I am here to assist. My first posting in Starfleet was to an ambassador-class vessel. I am familiar with most of the ship's systems, but I spent several months working on a research of the ship's computer. I am confident I can restore the ship's power levels quickly. Also, I do have some experience with Tholian technology from my time in the Resistance. If you prefer, I could attempt to deactivate the web shield or tractor beams. I am here to assist. We don't have much time. I know a few tricks to take that tractor beam system offline. I'm also so fairly confident that with enough time, I can release the docking clamps holding the ship, or take down the Tholian's web shielding. We don't have much time. We need to work together. I am here to assist. Overriding security protocol.
I'm changing the targeting sub-routines for the tractor beams. Tractor beam is disabled.
aren't important. 
restoring the timeline is. Get moving. The Tholians are already starting to regroup. I'm sure you've realized by now, you're part of a very different timeline. This one is an aberration that we are here to correct. It would be irresponsible of us to let you go back in time with the Enterprise C and compromise that timeline as well. We'll send you back to your time. There are still some very important events in the 25th century that you need to be a part of. As soon as the Enterprise C returns to its correct place in history, the timeline should right itself. <laughs> 